All candidates participating in the forum were asked the same questions and were given the same amount of time to respond. This video was filmed by QAC TV and the questions were selected by editor Angela Price from Reader Suggestions. My name is Nicole Romeo, reporting for the Bay Times and Record Observer. I'm here with Steve Wilson, who is a Republican Commission candidate for District 2. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. I uh, enjoy being here. In two minutes or less, tell us a little bit about yourself and why you want to be a county commissioner. Well, I started out in life as a financial manager in New York, working for an investment bank. And having done that for a number of years, I moved here full time. And I have been on five commissions and different boards over 15 years, so I have a really intricate knowledge of county business. And combining that with financial experience, I think I can do a good job for the county. Thank you. In two minutes or less, explain what you believe are the biggest issues facing the county. In two minutes or less is the issue because <laughs> the, the county's got some large issues in front of it. The first one is identifying, I would say, good policies and executing them in a good way. We have a lot of issues in front of us right now, particularly we're taking on an enormous amount of debt. The county's increasing its debt by 30 or 40 million bucks in a, in the space of a year. And first, I want to see that all the pieces of that debt are necessary. And secondly, that as we get into spending that, the county needs to write good contracts and see that the deals we make are carefully done. And it's shown, it's exhibited a rather lack of uh, good skill in some of the agreements we have made, and I want to bring my talents to making that better. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on the proposed Four Seasons development? In one minute or less, I would we wrote an agreement with Four Seasons, and I'm very stubborn about keeping agreements. So having made that agreement, I would keep the agreement. Would I make the agreement today? No. I don't think unloading a thousand houses on a rather fragile ecosystem down in Ken Island and one road is a good idea. So while I wouldn't make the agreement today, I would keep it having made it. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on the public sewer for Southern Kent Island? The sewer has 15 reasons to do it and I think 16 not to do it. So in general, I am adverse to the doing of the sewer as it's currently constituted. I don't like the fact that the public down there, each house is getting saddled with $24,000 worth of debt. I think the amount of nitrogen that's being reduced out of the bay and the, you know, the, the, the benefits of accomplishing it are there. But the traffic it adds and the congestion in an already taxed area, I would reconsider that deal. I just, I'm very skeptical about putting that much extra debt on those citizens down there. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on a public pool for the county and the YMCA project? I love the idea of a public pool for the county. In fact, I might even like better the idea of two public pools for the county. Why stop at one? I don't like the MOU that the county has written with the YMCA, and I saw in the paper today that the YMCA came in and said if we changed it, they were going to drop out. I think that maybe at least that was how I read it. I thought that the county is spending an enormous amount of money, $8 million, to put this thing up. And per household, it costs 800 a, a year to be a member. And I'm skeptical that that won't close some of our kids out. If we're going to spend $8 million on a swimming pool, I want every kid to be able to swim in the YMCA. And I'm not clear that's the case. And I don't like the fact that the MOU with the YMCA doesn't seem to me to give the public the kind of guarantees that it should have. Uh, I'm a good Talk contract writer, and uh, I wouldn't have written that contract. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on the new parking permit required to access public beaches at county parks, commonly being called the beach permit? Not a good idea at all. I was the head of the finance committee for the park department for years. I think public parks should be free to the public. I'm, not, I'm a great believer if we have a park system, it should be available to all the citizens, whether they have money or don't. 
It's it just to me, parks like the library should be a free thing. Thank you. In one minute or less, please describe your plan for achieving the county's stated goals of controlling growth while promoting economic development. <laughs> oh, in just one minute? That's simple to do. In general, the county is not lacking jobs. What it's lacking is jobs in the income brackets that people need to live on. That most people commute, 70 or 80 percent of our citizens commute out of our county for jobs because the wage grades in the county are not sufficiently high to live on. So what we knew is need to do is to import jobs in the right wage brackets. We need to bring in employment that pays enough. Minimum wage jobs are not a big help to the county. We need upper end jobs here. Thank you. Finally, in one minute or less, would you like to revisit any of the issues we've discussed or add anything we've missed talking about? Mm, no other than the fact that I think I can bring a level of skill understanding the issues we're about to get involved in. The county is right now taking on something close to $40 million worth of debt. And before we sign contracts that we can't back out of, I would like to go over and make sure that all those projects are necessary. I'm skeptical that the county office building is required. I just don't like adding, increasing the county's debt by 30% in a six month period. And if we are going to increase it, then I want to be very sure that the, uh, that the contracts we sign that we then can't get out of are carefully written. So that's it. Thank you, and thank you for participating in our forum. More than welcome. To watch other candidates who have appeared in this series, please go to either the QAC TV YouTube channel or visit myeasternshoremd.com. Thank you for watching.